physical therapist Cressida Lewis. I'm also a member of American Physical Therapy Association. Physical fitness has a lot of its own benefits. And some of its own benefits, the major ones, that it improves the respiratory, cardiovascular, mental, and our overall general health. In this video, I have put few exercises together to help us during this time with social distancing and staying at home to you know to just help with our general health and especially our elderly population to so that they can do these exercises safely at home a couple of things before we go over the exercises make sure while you do these exercises you do it in a pain-free range at any point you feel they're difficult you just need you just go ahead and stop them you don't have to push yourself to just complete all these exercises make sure you are maintaining the posture that is asked to do these exercises and you don't try to do it in some different way because that's not advised most of these exercises are done either seated and standing with the help of a sturdy chair okay to start the exercise routine we'll start with some uh, stretching exercises the first two exercises are focused on stretching your arm muscles your upper back and your trunk muscles uh, these exercises help to warm up the muscles so that you can get into your strengthening and balance exercise and uh, to end with some cool down exercises. To set up for the first stretch, uh, actually let me explain you a little more about the first stretch. It is called the standing L stretch uh, and it mainly focuses on your arm and your upper back muscles. So to set, set up for this first stretch, you will need a sturdy chair. You're going to stand behind the chair with your arm resting at the back of the chair. Make sure you take uh take a couple steps back backwards so you know you have some room when you're stretching forward or when you hinge your hips forward make sure you have your balance and your feet are side slightly apart they're not too close or too wide make sure they're square to your shoulders so let's start with the stretch you have to make sure that when you're starting the stretch, you're in an upright posture and not like, you know, bending sideways or bending too forward and your elbows shouldn't be bent. So let's start with the stretch. You go slowly controlled forward till you feel a stretch in your arms and in your upper arm, back. At times, you're going to feel a stretch in back of your legs, which is normal. Hold this posture for a couple of seconds and then come back right up. And you can come a little more closer. Make sure you're doing it in a slow, controlled manner. You're not hurting yourself while doing this. And it's in a pain-free range. And uh, you have your upright posture when you stand and finish it. This next stretch is called a standing side bending stretch. This stretch is mainly focused on stretching your trunk muscles. To set up for this stretch, you need your sturdy chair, one hand on the chair to support you and to get your balance. Make sure your feet are squared with your shoulders. You raise your opposite hand up, outreach, and then you side bend towards the chair. You should feel a stretch on the outstretched arm and on that side. And then you come back up to your starting position. And there you finish your stretch. A couple of things to remember during this stretch that when you are side bending, you're not side, you're not forward, you're not rotated, and you don't are not going backwards because that's going to that's not going to give you the right stretch and may cause some pain. And at any time while doing the stretch, you feel a discomfort or pain, kindly stop the exercise. The next exercise that we're going to do in standing is called as heel to toe raises. 
as the name suggests, it's like you can go onto your toes and then go onto your heels. They, it lo may look very simple, but at times can be challenging. For, to set up for the exercise, you, hold, you face your chair, back of your chair, you have your arms on the, resting on the back of the chair, and gently you get onto your toes, and then you get onto your heels. Make sure it is a slow control movement. And you have your upright posture. You are not bending forward, not bending backwards or sideways. You have your upright standing posture. And you're doing these exercises in a pain-free zone. The second hip exercise is going to focus on the muscles back of your leg. And to set up for this exercise, you're going to face forward towards the chair. Hold on to the chair with both the arms if you feel that is more comfortable for your balance. Or either have one of the hand on, on the side which you're going to exercise. And then you're going to gently raise the leg behind and then back again. Again, you're going to raise it backwards. You can either hold it there for a few seconds and bring it back or just simply take it back and forward. You do the same on the other side. While doing these exercises, make sure you're not arching back or arching forward and you're doing it in a pain-free zone. And at any point you feel that this is a bigger challenge for your balance, you can stop these exercises. Now we have finished with our stretching exercise. The next couple of exercises are focused on our lower legs to mainly strengthen and some are to balance. The first exercise for your lower leg is called a standing marching. As it says, it's pretty simple, but there are a couple of things we need to remember when we are doing this exercise for the safety. You start, hold. you can hold on to the chair with one arm Make sure you have an upright posture. You can actually hold uh, the other arm on your hip or it can be at your side, whichever is comfortable for you. You raise your hip leg up up to your hip level. You can either hold it over there or you can just alternate it. Either hold it for five seconds, then you go the next one five seconds, or you just go alternate, whichever is comfortable for you. Couple of things to remember while doing this exercise. You're not hinging your hip, you're not, fo you're not bending forward, you're not twisting. And when you are raising your hip up, make sure it's straight up, it's not either twisted or outside. And, uh, and to make, and uh, as I always say, to do it in a pain-free range. The next two exercises are going to focus on your hip muscles. And we all know how important the hip muscle is for us. To start off with the next exercise, you have the same thing. You need a sturdy chair to hold on to. So you hold on to the sturdy chair on one side. You can keep your hip, a hand on your hip on the other side. Make sure you have an upright posture. Your, your, uh, your feet are squared to your shoulders it's not too narrow not too wide and then you raise the opposite leg up and go to the side and bring it back you can either raise it up hold it for five seconds and bring it back or either you can just take it up all the way till you can to the range you can and then back you can do the same on the other side always remember to do these exercises in pain-free range and in an upright posture Moving on to our next lower extremity exercise. For this exercise, we have to make sure that our balance is, all, is always there. At any point during this exercise, you feel that your balance is not appropriate or you don't feel safe, you can stop this exercise. This exercise is called as mini squats or standing squats. So for, to, for, to set up with this exercise, I would prefer to be a little more closer to the wall so you have something to support your back and your chair is a little more closer to you. Uh, hold on with one arm uh, to the back of your chair. Make sure your back is resting to the wall. 
and you can just gently squat down gently mini squats half squats and then you back up make sure your knees don't go forward then your toes down hold and up couple of things to remember with this exercise as i always said to be done in pain free range make sure you have your balance when you're doing this exercise you're not twisting and turning and have an upright posture when you do these exercises. The main emphasis on the last two exercises is to strengthen your lower ex, uh, extremities or your lower legs uh, and especially for your balance. It kind of can be challenging and I would advise you to go as slow as possible and make sure you, they are slow and controlled um exercises or you know movements so at any time you feel you don't you know you lose your balance you still have a good control on them thank you for watching all my video i hope that they were helpful and you will be doing these exercises at home if you need more information or you you want to know how a physical therapist can help you with exercises or during this time when we are maintaining the social distancing and staying at home to stay safe you can go to choosept.com